Welcome to the Barbados Today News Brief for Thursday, August the 22nd, 2013. Here are some of the main stories in this publication. The long wait is over for scores of Barbadians who are owed millions of dollars by the insolvent British American insurance company Barbados Limited. That's our big story which can be uncovered on page 3. The medical fraternity in Barbados is warning citizens to steer clear of traditional medicines of dubious medicinal benefits. Describing such medicines as a scourge, the Barbados Association of Medical Practitioners is equally worried about that some doctors have been showing complete disregard for the laws governing the advertisement for sale of these substances. Follow this story on pages 4 and 5. An Enterprise Survey Country Bulletin has found that thousands of Barbadians are attending universities in droves and other tertiary institutions and leaving them fully certified, but, and that's the big but, the inadequate skills on the job is hurting small and large firms across the island. Read the full details of that survey on our back page. Efforts are on the way by some fisher folk in Barbados to stage a protest to try to force government into putting into operation a new crane loader which has been sitting idle at the Bridgetown Fisheries Complex for the last six to seven years. All the details are on pages 10 and 11. In Caribbean news, police in Trinidad have moved to prevent what they believe was another coup attempt in the country. Meanwhile, reports out of Port of Spain reveal that crime in that Twin Island Republic has declined by 34%. All these stories can be found on pages 24 and 25. On the world arena, serious opposition demanded today that the United Nations Chemical Weapons Inspectors immediately investigate a besieged rebel-held region hit by an alleged chemical weapons attack that killed hundreds of people a day earlier. And in other global news, deposed Egyptian leader Hoshni Mubarak was due to leave jail today by court order after a week of bloody turmoil in which the newly armed army-backed rulers cracked down on ousted President Mohamed Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood. Click on pages 26 and 27 for the whole story. And finally in sports, certain words made some four years ago by West Indies opening batsman Chris Gale have seemingly returned to haunt him. Go to page 43 and find out what we are talking about. And this has been the Barbados Today News Brief. On behalf of my videographer and video editor Gregory Waldron, I'm Emmanuel Joseph. See you next time.